What's going on, my Aries? My fire signs is me, K Star Moon Life After the Hermit. What y'all in isolation for? Could be dealing with a Virgo. So this mess is gonna be about your ex. We're gonna see what's going on with your ex. It's another saga episode of the X Files. What is going on with them? Um, and remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly and it resonates, stick and stay, and listen to what the divine has to offer. But this is about your ex. So if it's your ex, this is all about them. Well, you know you possibly could come in and show up and show up for the reading, whatever. But I, anyway, I would like to just thank my new subscribers and those of you who have subscribed and been there for me from the beginning. I really do appreciate it. And if you would like a reading, um, the um, information will be just below the box. And also, too, if you would like to give a donation, and I'm possibly going to go live today. Because I just feel like there's just like messages, people with these relationships. I mean, this pandemic got these relationships being exposed. And oh my goodness, my married folks, like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, this, this is going to be about your ex. So we're just basically going to see exactly what's going on with your ex. Um, Aries. And then we're going to move forward, Aries, okay? Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, Holy Spirit. What are their exes dealing with right now? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Releasing. Anxiety. Judgment. Releasing anxiety and judgment. Look like they trying to move forward. Judgment card and awakening here. A horn has been sounded. They're sa it's sounding off. Let me see. Okay. So you got the five of cups here in reverse. Could be that this person just realized the shit that they have done. They have like... um. Okay, I feel like your ex now is realizing that the things that have held them back in life and restricting them, they're now coming to terms with it. Look at this. Okay, the eight of um, swords is all about restriction and not seeing. They're seeing their ways on how they did. They, they, they really fucked you over, I'm getting, in a sense. The five of cups here in reverse. This is what I'm getting here. Maybe they want to be accountable. Let's see. Let's see. But something, I feel like something really happened to them as to why they're, why they're having this um, realization now, this awakening moment. Okay, I feel like they're going to want to um, reach out to you as well. Let's see. Holy Spirit, please clarify. Yep, they want some new changes. They're going to try to do things new, Aries. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Five of Cups here in reverse for Aries X. Why is the Five of Cups here in reverse? They, they, you know, they've had their regrets. They want to apologize. They realize that they can't go on about doing things, you know, a certain way and just continue to try to um, screw you over, okay? There's a lot of things that they have done that they are regretting it now. And, and just moving forward, Holy Spirit, please clarify the five of cups in reverse, the Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising X. The Magician. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Manifesting. They want to change things. And this could be with you, Aries, or just in life in general. You know? They're going to try to make it right. Holy Spirit, please clarify the four of pentacles here in reverse. Why is the four of pentacles here in reverse? Queen of Swords here. Releasing. Releasing the lies. So there may be some things that they may come to tell you. Or some questions you may ask. And they're going to try to. And, and, and I feel like they're going to just like release the lies. Release of being disloyal. Okay. Holy Spirit. Please clarify the Eight of Swords here. 
Why is the Eight of Swords here for Aries X? Eight of Swords here. Walking away. I'm getting a sense that, yeah, this person has come to a realization and how the shit that they moved against you, they need to walk away. Everything that they have done has caused them to be restricted. Okay? They want to move forward and make things right. Because a judgment call, something happened to them to make them th that is sparking this. I'm getting. Holy Spirit, please clarify the judgment card here. Why well, is a judgment card here, Holy Spirit? King of Swords, yeah. They want to step into their truth. Own up to it. Take ownership. Because they realized the way that they was walking, it caused them to be restricted. And they want to release all the lies. Release being disloyal. You got the Queen of Swords here in reverse, and you got the King of Swords here upright. If you are a male, or it's not even really gender, you know, specific either, you could be releasing yourself or walking away from a female that is not on the up and up. You hold yourself in high regards. But for the foremost, I am seeing here, Aries, this is an individual who realized that they, that they are, you know, a fucked up individual and they need to change their ways. This is what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting from this. So expect for this person to reach out. Okay. Expect for if you have the, if you have a child with this person, expect expect for them to do things that they wouldn't normally do. They're trying to redeem themselves. Because they realize the way they the way they moved against you is just not gonna work. Okay, Holy Spirit, please clarify the five of cups here in reverse and the magician card. Yep, the truth. The truth cutting through the bullshit. The five of cups in reverse and the magician card, Holy Spirit. The Knight of Cups here in reverse. What I am getting from that is they want to stop their plain ways and move forward. Now, here's the thing. This person may come to you, Aries, and say, let's put all bullshit aside. I really want to make this right. I'm getting a sense, Aries, and this is for the first time that they may be sincere. Holy Spirit, please care, please clarify the Queen of Swords here in reverse and the Four of Pentacles here in reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse and the Four of Pentacles here, Holy Spirit? The Nine of Wands here. They no longer want to fight. Okay, um... Dropping their guards, not want to be on guard. A lot of things that I'm getting this energy like this is the type of person who used to do like shady shit and just always had to guard everything like their cell phone, their passwords. And I feel like this person just want to release that behavior of just doing wrongful things against you and to others because they realize it wasn't working for them. It's not showing me as of yet what has happened. Let me see. Holy Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Cups here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? And the Eight of Swords. And you know, Eight is all about infinity. Okay, so this person was forever walking like this. They forever walked in a disloyal path. They want to end it. Yeah, they want happiness. You know, because everything that they was doing was giving them, you know, empty cups. 
Holy Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Cups here and the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, the disloyal here. You got the Queen of Swords here in reverse here too, again. You got two queens here and a king of sword. What I am getting here, Aries, is that this person was eating from their own plate that they served. So this individual was a juggler. This is why you got the Knight of Cups here in reverse. They no longer want to, they no longer want to do that anymore. They want to move forward. This is a case where I feel. Aries, you, you were once with this person. Y'all not with each other anymore. This person put you in a third-party situation or had other people. You got two queens here, two energies. Swords in reverse. So I'm either getting the sense that this person, your ex, was constantly lying to these women as well. or um, And these women just started releasing them. Okay, like the horn was blown. It was revealed that this person was shady. Your ex was shady. So this could be you and another person. Or this could be you totally out of the picture and you got these two people here. This also could be a situation with these two people here. The tables turned on them. So what they did to you was also done to them. And this is why they have here the judgment card here and the king of swords here. So it's like now they want to stand into their truth in the sense of, damn, I see a reflection of myself. Look what all I have done. I have walked in the valley of just lies and restrictions. And they have manifested the type of people or the type of lovers that they are and they don't like it. And the trumpet has been blown. Hmm. Holy Spirit, let's clarify the, the judgment card here and the king of swords here. Why is the judgment card here and the king of swords here? Why is the judgment card here and the king of swords here? Because they were not moving appropriately. They kept repeating the same thing. And that the chariot car, him reverse, it could have been dealing with the cancer. It's like they just realized that their ways in their life is not working for them. And now they're having this awakening moment, Aries. Yeah, look. The two of wands here in reverse. Decisions need to be made. You know, they, they look look at how this car here, how this individual got one hand tied to a post and the other one is free. Okay? They need to release themselves. Okay? Because their plans didn't work out. Their plans didn't work out, um, Aries. And so now they're having a moment. They're feeling incomplete. This is your person's energy. They want to put all the bullshit aside and want to come to you, Aries. Yeah, because look, the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse, they're broken. They're broken without you, Aries. That's what it is. Yep, they want to reconcile with you, the Five of, the five of Swords here. Six of Cups here in reverse. They want to move forward. I'm interested in this Queen of Swords here. Holy Spirit, let's clarify. Oh, too many cards. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Who is this Queen of Swords here? For well, Aries X, Sun, Moon, and Rock. And Venus, who is this Queen of Swords here? This is disturbing their peace, I feel. Too many cards. Everything. Like, they are out of whack. 
They are out of whack. Who is this Queen of Swords here, Holy Spirit, in reverse? For Aries, X, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands. The Judgment card here in reverse. And the Three of Pentacles. Somebody cut that person. Okay, so this could be you, Aries. The Seven of Wands. You cut them off. They ain't learned their lesson. And you didn't want to contract with them anymore. I feel like they was in a third-party situation. This person could possibly have been drinking. This person could have been in and out of jail. Just constantly, you know... Sowing his or her seeds everywhere. This is what I'm getting. They're not. I got to protect myself. So I'm going to stand my ground because they're not learning their lessons. They have not waken up. But they have. But this is why you left. They're going to try to come back. They are. They are in the moment right now. Okay, so here's the thing. They are in the moment right now where... Like I said, they got the judgment here. Okay? They're marinating in it right now. And trying to decide what to do. In their situations. This is this retrograde shit. That's what they're trying to do. You, Aries, are on the defense mode. You're standing your ground. And I don't blame you. I would not tell you not to waver from that. From this type of energy. Okay? But I will tell you, if you decide to take this person back, you need to take your time with it and you don't jump full into it with this individual if you decide. Because they have waking up now. Now, some people will wake up on a moment and they'll be like, oh, you know this, I know I'm wrong, blah, blah. but they, they feeling good about it then, but then they flip and change their ways. I want to clarify this Knight of Cups here in reverse. Okay. Knight of Cups here in reverse. The Knight of Swords. See, this is, I, did I not just say that? Healing first. Because people, will, they going to come to you now. Oh, you know, I'm this, I'm that. They're going to come to you with that game. Look how they're quickly rushing in. But look at the star card. Y'all could be dealing with an air sign here. But look at the star card here. Not healing. Not being patient. You know, because what they're going through right now, like I'm saying, is making them very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, I know why. I know my ways. Give it some time if you take this person back. If you decide to do this. Right now, here's what we have. Here, the world card and the wheel of fortune. So I feel like this is a karmic cycle that they're dealing with. Okay, this is their karma coming back to bite them in the ass because they're not feeling celebrated. Look at this Aries. Just This is like really showing up. You could be dealing with another Aries, okay? Look at this. The six of wands here in reverse. The four of wands here in reverse. The king of wands here in reverse. This person could have possibly ghosted you and you ghosted them. This is a separation that is going on. You got to give this person time to heal if they come to you with this. Okay, but Aries, I want to tell you this. With this two of cups here, I feel like somebody's going to give you a love interest. That's another story. Cut through the bullshit, the truth. And this person very much well. I really do feel like, though, that they... They did have an epiphany. They did have a moment as to why they are where they are in their life. Okay? But even though, Aries, if they come to you with this, don't make a move on it right away because this person still got a lot of conflict going on. And this could be with self-conflict. Like, they mind could be telling them, okay, I know what I need to do right, but my body is telling me one thing. Oh, that's a fly, honey, over there. There's a fly. Because this is still upright. You got a lot of fives here, changes. So I feel like this person going to be like forever changing, forever changing. And it's going to be hard for them to make a shift. And it's going to take work because look, the eight of cups and the eight of swords. Eight is like 
infinity, the infinity number, just constantly moving. Something that's always done. So it's going to take a while for them, for that shift to change for them. For them to be like, okay, it's just you. I don't need to have all this other stuff out here. I'm just going to focus on you. I'm going to move forward. Because a lot of times, like I said, people say things at a certain times like a hype. Oh, you know, this is what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, I want to change and X, Y, and Z. And then you go in, you rush in right away, and you turn it into back to normal again. And, and then now they back, they bullshit again with the conflict with a bunch of people. Okay? And this could possibly mean, that's why I'm saying wait too, because this could possibly mean that, I mean, when you look at this, This person could be a traveler too as well. Like just traveling to go see other people. When you look at this, like the truth is about this relationship is that this will be a conflict. This will be an issue here. If you move into it too fast with your ex. Okay? And if they do have somebody, I feel like this is their energy too as well. Like, it's just issues. Okay? So, with that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life After. Like, share, comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, Aries.